Today on Campus Files, a special edition because we're going to the Flat Music Studio. I don't know whether the studio itself is flat or something that you sing or, or play there is flat instead of sharp. But I'm starting to get ready. First of all, what does flat stand for? What is a flat music studio? Well, flat is just, I picked it as a name because I wanted, I looked for a name that was characteristic for this, for the, my new place in the world that was characteristic here. And I, my first impression of, one of my first impressions of Winnipeg was that it's so flat. So, uh, I see there's some keyboards here and, and a lot of computer stuff. Yeah. Um, now, is this sort of silver apples of the sun kind of uh, computer music? Or is this more, you know, modern stuff? Well, it, it is modern stuff. Um, I would say the only thing that um, is the kind of the umbrella definition of what we do is that it's art music. We don't deal with popular music. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, would most people recognize it as, as music? Because I know some computer stuff is pretty yeah. esoteric sometimes. Yeah, uh, while what people recognize it as it's of course hard for me to say it is music mm -hmm. um, because that's intention to be music okay. and that's why it is music okay. and we try to communicate through sound something um, some type of um, uh, I don't know it could be so many different things we, we try to to reach out with what we do somehow so to reach out to people through your music and yeah. it happens to be through the medium of computers and computer yeah. technology yeah yeah okay now, can you show, demonstrate some... Uh... Yeah, we do different things. I mean, computer music can be very, very different. And I would say, oops, the most, um, the most traditional uh, um, aspect of what we do here is that we, we, we uh, look at what sound is and try to make music out of sound as mm -hmm. it is. And this is not completely a new idea. Mm -hmm. This has existed for probably 60, 70 years mm -hmm. now. And uh, so we, we record sounds, we put it into the computer, and we create a music piece out of, of it. We could call it a, music, a sound collage if you want. I think it's more than a collage. Okay. But that's kind of the idea. where you, you can input, uh, you can detect the environment in certain aspects and the computer knows what's going on in the environment and then it's up to you as a composer to say what, what is going to happen to the okay. sound and probably in my field. Okay. So in this case I have, just to demonstrate what we're doing, we have two sensors here. This is a proximity sensor. Uh -huh. See if I hold my hand over this one you'll see on the screen that that pink it reacts. It sh detects where my hand is basically. Right. Okay. And then the other one is a flex sensor which can be bent. So if I bend wow. it, so that's the one that creates sound. So if I bend this just a little bit, okay, it's a soft sound. And the more I bend it, the louder it is. Very. This this I this looks very weird. This doesn't look yeah. like anything I've ever seen before. This is curious. a mess because I threw it up for the demonstration. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. I I, I love it. This yeah. This, you program the the. Um, software itself to react, so there is nothing said what we're going to happen. Can I try? Uh, oh, sure. Okay. okay. So if you just bend it, just a, bend bit. it just a little bit. So yeah. this is, I'm making music now. Yeah. <laughs> Very flying saucer-ish. Combine this with a... Okay, no, okay, you, okay, we're playing together now. Okay. This is very hard to 
performing the thing. Wow, that's that's yeah. very very cool. I'm not sure we'd get standing ovations for it. At well, how place. how do people react when they hear <laughs> this music or your the the one about Winnipeg and trains? Well, the Winnipeg train piece was I think quite well received because people can relate to it. It has been performed. It live? has been performed here at the campus also. Okay. So, um, it, it, I mean, it's um, when people can relate to what they hear, they are open to it. I think. Okay. And that's one of the reasons I think that's this piece I showed you there is popular. On the uh, television show Star Trek The Next Generation, mm -hmm. Data okay. could play any instrument perfectly because okay. he, he was programmed to play the technique exactly like yeah. you know, any famous uh, violinist or flutist yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Is that similar to what yeah. this is? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could... Probably the, one of the composers in the history that's been most analyzed is Palestrina in detail and there's a, books about rules how to make palestrina that composers study mm -hmm. and when you know those rules you sound like palestrina if you compose like that. Okay. And there are examples when people really implemented all those rules on the computer and it spits out palestrina pieces. Really? Yeah. Like even new palestrina pieces? Yeah, the new combinations of, of all the rules. You know, you have the rules but the pitches, there are so many combinations or combining pitches so they will always find a new piece. So is, if a computer does that, is that a new composition? Well, I mean, I don't know. It, just because you can doesn't mean that it's good music. Oh, okay. okay. That's another thing. And you can even debate, so is there any type of expression in that? Because there was no intention of expression. Okay. And there is a... There's, there's no soul, soul, right? There is no soul in that way. If the, pers if the person who put together the rules had an intention to communicate something, maybe there is a soul. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, it's more... I mean, composing is so much structure. So part of the soul and the music lies within the structure itself, I think. But that doesn't, doesn't mean that you can clone pieces. Okay. No, that, that's not the same thing. So you, do you think that we'll never take the human out of uh, music? Well, the risk of taking the human out of the composer part or the performer part is that the music will not be important anymore. Oh. Because music is there to communicate, cu it's culture. Okay. And we communicate something, and it can be many different reasons for why we want to make a piece of music, but there's com communication somewhere from a composer or a performer to a listener somewhere. There are many links there, there right. communication. And if, if the communication is gone, then we won't care about music anymore. <laughs>